how we can hear me. Good morning and happy Sabbath. Happy Sabbath. How's everyone feeling this morning? Oh, I see about five people smiling and everyone else is happy Sabbath. <laughs> One more time. Happy Sabbath, everyone. Happy Sabbath. Praise God. This morning we are going to be singing amazing very well. Us. So we ask that you please join in as we sing Amazing Grace. as we sing our introit song, Jesus Stand Among Us. Please rise. This time we'll do our opening hymn. The opening hymn for this morning is Wake the Song. Wake the Song. Hymn number 34, Wake the Song.
Please be seated. Now is the time when we get to join our small drops of prayer with the Niagara Fall of prayers that Jesus is praying for us. And as we kneel, let's remember that when people pray, heaven moves. And when people pray, Satan trembles. So let's kneel down and pray to our Lord. Our Heavenly Father, it is so good to be in your house. We thank you that we can worship you. We thank you that we can praise you, for you are worthy of our praise. We thank you that we can gather. We thank you that you have blessed us with the Stereum Conference this weekend. And we pray for Elder Sabuin, Sabuin as he breaks the bread of life to us today, and Sister Park as she translates for him. Continue to speak to them and through them as they minister to us and may we be a blessing and may we leave this place better than when we came thank you for hearing our prayer thank you for answering and thank you for being so amazing to us in jesus name we pray amen Happy Sabbath, big kids, small kids, tiny kids, big kid. Okay. Have you ever heard a story of a soldier without a gun? A soldier without a gun. Is it possible? Yes? Okay, let's wait for the rest of the kid coming. This morning, we will take you to the old, old times in the Bible, in the book of Judges. Who can guess? Samson. This is Samson. Let's play. Okay, this is the story of a soldier. Oh, we, you, will, you will see that later. He is very this famous. Israel, Actually, I, li I like him. Had turned against the one real God and worshipped idols. They had forgotten how God had loved and cared for them and needed a reminder that he was the one in charge. So God took away the Israelites' farms for seven long years. Whenever the Israelites planted crops, God would let another nation called the Midianites sweep through and camp on Israel's land, ruining everything that was growing there. But even though his own family had forgotten him, God still loved them deeply. So. At the end of the seven years, God appeared to a young Israelite named Gideon. God said he was going to free the Israelites with Gideon's help. Gideon, however, wasn't so sure, so he asked God to prove himself by performing a series of miracles. Gideon said, if the fleece is wet with dew in the morning but the ground is dry, then I will know that you're going to help me rescue Israel as you promised. That's what happened. Just to be sure, the next night, Gideon asked God to do the opposite, make the fleece dry and make the ground wet. And God did it. 
Next, he even sent a sign through an angel. Gideon was finally convinced that God was in his corner, so he called together an army to fight. Do you want to meet Gideon? You want to see Gideon? Okay, please, Gideon, come out. Now it's Gideon's time to choose his army. <laughs> These bad Midianites. I must win this battle. You will be my soldiers. Are you willing to fight for God? Amen. Gideon, your army is too large. If Israel should win the victory, they would say we won it by our own might. Send home all those who are afraid to fight. Too many. Sorry, but I must send 22,000 of you home. God only needs 10,000. So 22,000 left and 10,000, no, 22,000 went away and 10,000 left. But then... The people are still too many. Mm-hmm. You only need a few men to fight in the battle. Bring them down to the water, and I will show you there how to find the men whom you need. Those who drink with their hands shall stay. Okay. Calling all the soldiers of God, let's go to the river and drink some water. We need water before we fight against the Midianites. Are you ready? Now, show me how you drink. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Sorry, you go home. <laughs> you go home. Go home. All right. I have... One, two, one hundred, two hundred, three hundred left. This will fight against the Midianites. Now, let me instruct you how are we going to fight against the Midianites. Everybody stand up. Pick up our weapons. Our weapons are trumpets, torches, Please light up the torches now. At the count of three, oh wait, I will divide you. Four of you go to this side. From you until here, this middle side, and the rest go to that side. Listen, you may proceed. Go to your respective places. At the count of three, I want you to break the jar, blow the trumpet. Are you ready? And they all went around the camp quietly. One. Are you ready? One, two, three. <laughs> and all the enemies flew fled. They ran away for their lives. They defeated their enemies. Hallelujah! We won! We won! Praise the Lord! Yay! Hey! Do you know, kids? Why did the Why did the uh, 
defeat their enemies. Why? Because they listen to God's instructions. That's one of the reasons. And you know what? The world soldiers, they have their sophisticated and advanced weapons. Gideon soldiers, they have torch, trumpet, and jar. How about us? We have this so-called, we have this spiritual warfare. What is our weapon? Do you know? What is our weapon? Bible. Yes, that is our weapon. We have to pick it up if it is just sitting on your shelf, dusty. We have to clean it up, open, read it, and listen to what it says. Because through the Bible, God speaks to us. Amen. Okay, let's pray before you go to your seats. Let's pray. Everybody close your eyes, kids. Dear God, we thank you for your words. Please help us to read your Bible, to read the Bible, and listen to your words. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Everybody, you may go to your seats. Thank you, soldiers. Hello, can you hear me? Okay. Good morning. Happy Sabbath, church family. Um, I was thinking about what to say today for tithes and offerings, but we all know that God requires a tenth not because He needs our money, right? He has given it to us um, so that we can use it properly for, for Him. Um, I remember when I was younger, uh, you know, my mom gives, parents give their children everything they need, right? Clothes, food, things to do. And I remember my mom asking me uh, to give her something, just something small. I can't remember what it was, but I remember just withholding it from her, not knowing or not remembering that she was the one that actually bought it for me. And a lot of the times we are like that with God. You know, God gives us everything we need. And when he asks us for something small, we withhold it, forgetting that he was the one that has provided it for us. And um, for this year's J Room Conference, uh, we just wanted to show you the expenses uh, to put up a conference. Um, this is not something that uh, you know we just enjoy putting up every year, but uh, I know that JWA feels called to do it um, with the help of a lot of you guys. And I know that without your guys' financial help, we wouldn't be able to hold this conference. So as the Lord leads, um, we pray that you may be able to help out as much as you can. And may the deacons and deaconesses uh, get ready to collect the offering. Thank you.
pray. Father in heaven, you are an amazing God. Um, thank you so much for all your, um, all your blessings, whether it's to stretch our clothes out a little bit longer so we don't have to buy new clothes, or whether it be our shoes or food. But Father, if we truly looked at every part of our day, Lord, we, we can see that you provide for us and take care of us. We're so grateful for that. Um, we pray that these tithes and offerings may go and glorify and to further the work that you have called us to do. And help us to remember that our reward is in heaven and that as we give, you will give us even more um, in every other area. Thank you so much for your love. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Shabbat Shalom, everyone. Good morning and happy Sabbath. Good to see all of you this morning. We'd like to especially welcome all the visitors, all those who are here for the Chatham Conference also. On behalf of Summit University International Church, we welcome all those who are here, especially the ones that are here for the Chatham Conference. This morning I see our church, our family member, None other than from missionary from Bangladesh, Leon and Uni Peak. Where are you? Right there. Amen. 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 They have been serving in Bangladesh starting last year, and they are just here for this weekend, um, and they will be heading back. Uh, so please say hi and goodbye today. <laughs> but it's so great to see both of you. We miss you so much. And it's nice that you are here today with us, joining this weekend. Um, I'd like to welcome all those once again. And before we begin, this is a special weekend for our church and for the JDM Conference because this year we are having two consecutive weekends for JDM Conference. So we're excited um, to hear the Word of God and to attend many seminars and to participate in this movement as a whole. At this time, I'd like to welcome and ask the mission coordinator for Jerim, where are you? Sam? Okay, right there. And I want to ask him some questions about what is going on for this conference this afternoon. So, um, Sam, you are the mission coordinator for Jerim. Yes, I am. Um, so what's going on? Can you tell us what's going on this afternoon? Okay, this afternoon and also next week's afternoon, we have uh, Jerim and SUIC uh, mission team. But not only two organizations, but we have Namyong Institute. Anybody from Namyong Institute today? And Phil Stock, amen. And Phil Stock, anybody from Phil Stock? They are not here yet, but we'll oh, all right there. Okay, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we'll all get together, and uh, at 2 p.m., we'll start from this place. And uh, the thing we do in the afternoon is uh, we're going to distribute this book. All right, so this, is, this afternoon is a mission program that we are sharing um, to the community. And what time is it? It's Again? 2 p.m. At 2 p.m., we're going to meet at the lobby of this building. So as you go out that door, it's mm -hmm. a lobby. So right after lunch, I encourage all of you to come join. All right, thank you, Sam. 2 p.m. this afternoon, right after lunch, we are going to meet at the lobby right outside the church here. And then go where? The place we're going today is No One, no one Station. Oh, no One Station. Uh, the subway right. station. Mm -hmm. There's a large uh, population come and, come and go in No One Station. So as you come there at 2 p.m., your team leaders will be waiting and pick you. So we'll go together to No One Station. All right, so more information will be um, given to us at 2 p.m. after lunch when we gather together. And it will be a great... Um, time for all of us as we share God's word to the community. Or any last words? Oh uh, yes. Um, this is not just to give or dump this message to people. Mm -hmm. uh, this is not to feel great about ourselves giving something good to people. But there will be some. There are always some people who are waiting and hungering for the truth. And there are some people who are uh, waiting for kind words and 
kind greetings that we can give. Mm. So we have not only the book, we have some uh, waters that okay. can refresh people from this hot weather. Mm -hmm. And we have some uh, wet tissue that people can use it. And we even have some flowers ready. So if you, are, uh, if you have a good, kind smile, uh, you can give this flower to people as you give books too. All right, thank you so much. We'll see all of you at 2 o'clock this afternoon. Thank you, Sam. Thank you so much. All right. Before we hear the choir this morning, I'd like to invite the president of Cherim, um, Chewa, to introduce the speaker for this morning, and then we will go on with a special music by our church's choir. Welcome to Cherim Conference, and this conference is not about us, it's about Jesus Christ. And it's about his work, and about his work. And I'm so thankful to have our main speaker, Richard Subwin. He's a pastor of, he's a pastor, and he's a director of Sabbath School and Personal Ministry and Education Department of our division, Northern Pacific Division. And I've had Indonesian cuisine at his place that was cooked by his wife. It was great. And Rukla said he is a very romantic father to her mom. And I felt a lot of love at that home. So I know he's a godly man that knows how to take care of his family. So I'm so glad to have him as our speaker. <laughs> 